Hey everyone, welcome to the News Minute right here on Ocala.com. Today is Monday, the 3rd of August. I'm Kamau Hostin. Let's get right into it. First up, federal agents raided the offices of Taylor Bean and Whitaker Monday morning. Now, the uh, this agency, this particular branch of the agency, oversees fraud or perhaps abuse of TARP funds and programs. Now, not many details were provided by the agency other than that they issued two search warrants. More for you right here on Ocala.com. In other news, a Leo Demetrius Reeves turned himself in in connection with a home invasion uh, turned fatal over the weekend. He is a person of interest. and If you have any information on that home invasion out in um, Orange Lake, you can call the Sheriff's Office at 732-9111 or Crime Stoppers. Visit OcalaCrimestoppers.com. Moving on. Plaxico Burris, a former wide receiver for the New York Giants, was indicted by a grand jury on Monday on weapons charges in connection with an incident in uh, November of 2008 where he accidentally shot himself in the leg. Now you can find some more information right here on Ocala.com. Okay. Oh, a bit of local news for you. Ocala Police Department is holding their National Night Out Tuesday evening. It's going to be food, um, surprises, events for kids. Um, it's open to the public. starts at 6, uh, 6 p.m. 369-7000. Contact the Ocala Police Department for some more info on that. In entertainment news, Katherine Jackson, the mother of Michael Jackson, a pop singer, of course, who... Uh, passed away in June, has been granted permanent custody of his three children. When you're on the go today, tomorrow, or whenever, you want to stop by m.ocala.com right there on your mobile uh, phone, mobile device, to get all of your local news and updates. You can also follow us on Twitter, follow us on Facebook, check us out on YouTube. That's going to do it for your News Minute on this Monday. I'm Kamal Hostin, and I'll see all of you tomorrow.